Hi everyone, it's Athena. Oh my gosh. Thank you for everything. I've missed you all fiercely. And yet, I'm still in the process. I'll be out of Los Angeles by Halloween. And the thing is, is that the place that I'm headed in Texas is not going to be ready until sometime mid-November is what I'm being told. So I will, and I can't wait, honestly, to get back a sense of dailies, monthlies for all of you. However, in the meantime, thank you. Because as much as, as you have all reached out to tell me that you've missed me, sending me your pics that you've bought my book and thank you. It's really quite enlightening for me to go through this purging process and this move is a huge move for me as I have literally dedicated my myself to California. And now that I'm getting out of the matrix, I feel like it's going to impose a lot more of my true authenticity. Okay, so let's see if this can, if we can go around the wheel, yeah. Let's go around the wheel so that we can get back a sense of feeling like home again, right? And you guys are my home and I thank you again. All right, so let's get started. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's do Venus. I just, it just came out like naturally. So let's do Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? All right, going around the wheel, around the wheel, Aries first. All right, so Aries, look at what is going on, especially for the masculine, right? you are trying to decide on how you're going to how you're going to proceed forward with a child right a leo aries sag what's your next move aries is what i'm is what i think you're thinking right aries sun moon rising and venus signs you're having this questionable time in your life you're moving for sure right you're moving somewhere and you're moving for a child about a child a child's involved yeah you have red robins which not ironically because aries always gets spirit guides are spirit guides are all around you and here today, they're showing me that the beautiful velvet drapes are actually what looks like hawks and or an eagle. And there are four of them, one, two, three, four. So you're doing some massive high-end thinking about a child, about going, how you're gonna deal with a child, moving with a child, okay? Maybe you just found out you're pregnant. Maybe you are pregnant. And if you are pregnant, you're having that sense of complete joy and happiness, right? Those four swords is, wow, I didn't think I could be so happy about a child coming in also those who have children same thing your children are everything to you aries okay taurus taurus we have the ten of cups we have the seven of swords reversed and the two of cups look at this this sucker is playing games this guy 
This guy's playing games, but guess what, Taurus? There's no more game playing. Everything's above board. It's like, I'm happy, I'm with someone, or I have my eye on someone, Taurus. You might have your eye on someone that you know for a fact, right? You know that we're not, don't come, don't come to me in my home, or don't, I'm not attracting people who do not come correct any longer, Taurus. There's no way. You you come correct. You come with if you come with if you come with me to my home. You invite me to my home. You want to meet my family. Then don't mess it up. If you're just getting together with someone new. You're done with game playing. That's over. And this is what these planets retrograde have given us the gift of no more game playing. I'm not going to settle in with you unless you come correct. That's the theme. Don't come to me unless you come correct. Meaning, Full on, for Taurus, full on commitment in a relationship and happiness. And if you can't be that person, then you're, we're setting boundaries now. We're finally realizing the overall collective is realizing that we are worthy and we're not going to just want a piece of the pie. Don't give me a quarter. I want the whole frappin' pie, pizza, whatever. Gemini. Death, forgiveness, the three of swords reversed and knight of cups. Please forgive me. I hear, of course, you know I'm going to say it. Do you know I'm going to say it? Please forgive me. Please forgive me for I know not what I have lost. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Massive Scorpio here. Forgiveness of another. Emotionally trying to let go, release, move on, right? Emotionally moving on. Saying goodbye, Gemini. You're saying goodbye to your past. Don't forget, this is sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Cancer. Cancers. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Cancers, five of pentacles, just when I thought. I'm going to take these because of the five of, five of pentacles. Hold on. Page of swords. Someone's been lying through their teeth, trying to get money. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Who says, you may be dealing with a mother figure, cancer right a mother figure or a single mom that is trying to manipulate you through a child right a child is the one standing up and acting out out of character right and I'm telling you right now that devil reversed You might, you might be trusting the wrong person. You may be thinking that someone is, is coming correct, right? Because they're reversed, right? But they're using a child to manipulate. Asking for money, wanting money not telling you the full story about some financial issue. I'm going to take one more for cancer, please. 
because we don't want to be manipulated. Look, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. This Gemini Libra Aquarius is leaving. This could be child support. Someone's not telling you the whole story about child support. Someone doesn't have the money and they're telling you they do or they don't, but I'm out. Someone's saying I'm out. Look, we're done playing games. It could be mother and child leaving and saying, I'm done. You're gonna, ha you're gonna have to give me half of what I'm owed and I'm out. Cancers, what's going on? If that is indeed someone that you're dealing with, you need to realize that that's a blessing in disguise. And listen, you have to pay the piper. I mean, that's the bottom line. Or someone does. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I'm sorry, a Gemini Libra Aquarius has to pay the piper. Or you do to them. Something about money, Cancer. Okay, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Leo. That flipped. The star. Well, Leos, you are the stars, aren't you? You're the stars, the sun, the moon, the sky. You're very emotionally content. Very much in your own groove. If you can just stay out of your own way, you're going to do just fine. You're having some kind of potential. You were losing sleep over something that was said. Maybe you're, you're thinking negatively about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here's Aquarius as well. Maybe you didn't get your own way, right? You already know that something that isn't good for you had to go, right? Someone had to go because someone thought that they could get one over on you or you on them. And that didn't happen. So someone's not happy about it. It's either a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it's you. Not happy that you got, <laughs> either you got manipulated or someone else got manipulated and said, listen, we're not doing this. We're not playing this game. I'm not playing this game again. Wow. I'm hearing, let's pick one more card for Leos. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Leos, look, someone put their boundaries up. That's what happened. Someone finally put their boundaries up. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you did. Someone's saying, I don't agree with you. I don't want to fight with you, so I'm just going to walk away. And I don't want to come to your home or you're not going to their home. Something like that. Okay, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Let's take a shuffle real quick. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Five of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands, it's over, done. Someone who thought they had options. That's part of what's over here, Virgo. Your group of friends that gave you massive conflict you're done with these people. And now you're looking and you're growing your friendship base. You're growing your friendship base based upon what is true to your heart, Virgo. You're letting go of all the people, let's say at least like a group that gave you nothing but heartache. And now you're trying to solidify another group a new group that's going to be more toward your line of work, I heard for some reason, that you love to do. And that's what's happening. I'm telling you, everyone's just saying, I'm done with all of the game playing. I mean, 
How could we not be done? Think about it. With six, six planets in retrograde, how could we not say, if someone doesn't come correct, how could we not close the door? Seriously. With six planets rever reversed. That's what it's there for. It was there to show us the way forward. It was there to give us the confidence to say, and the self-esteem, confidence, all of it, in order for us to get our personal power back, we must close the doors that no longer serve us, which are karmic. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Libra, three of cups, let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Are we celebrating feeling? We're celebrating a part of our lives that is over where we once, I have to take another card for sure, where we felt, I feel that people around you, Libra, I feel that you're happy that that you have, you're celebrating you, Libra, and the people that cannot fulfill, right? They only can give you half. There's a little. They only can give you a half or they've only promised you a half of the pie, right? They actually haven't, I'm sorry, I digress. They haven't even offered you the pie because they are not fully in it to win it is what i heard so you could be dealing with an aries leo sag and or a virgo taurus capricorn that and or a cancer pisces scorpio who came to you saying i'm i have certain aspects of myself whereby i'm not fully a hundred percent that I may need you to fulfill. Do you understand that? So someone doesn't have the 10 of pentacles. They only have five to give you that has caused you pain, but has solidified, has solidified your need to keep going back to people, places, and things that constantly explode, implode, implode, explode. Got it? We're done. And we're happy. And I just heard that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Scorpio, the sun, yes. Happy times, celebration, new companions, new parties, new people, wheeling and dealing. You're happy also because... What you've been waiting for is coming, right? New friends, new places to visit. The sun is coming out, right? Your energy is up. You're excited. You could be dealing with a Leo, right? Or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, right? You're feeling light and happy because what you've been waiting for is it could be a payout. Let's get one more card for Scorpios. Something completely devastated you and you knew it was coming. It was only a matter of time, actually, and now you're happy. Or someone's happy about it. So Scorpio, it was time for things to change and you needed to get your vitality back. And in order to do that, you needed to probably find a new group of people that you could be happy with, that make you happy. And that's what you should be doing. We find like-minded people. Like attracts like, right? Law of attraction. 
like attracts like, and I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about people that are friends, friends, family, that you know and you feel comfortable and they make you happy, Scorpio. Stick with those people. Sag. Sag, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Exploring new places. I feel this is like an exploring of new places. Hold on. So after a time, this is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. After a time of being stagnant and I think that, Saggies, you've been just too too upset about the things that stood in your own way, which is yourself. You stood in your own way because of past regrets, and you've had this past regret for like a while here, and you're finally celebrating you because what you were waiting for, honestly, was a new path, a new direction, a move. We just finally moved, we're happy. We've got money. We're, we didn't know if we could actually make it work, but we can, right? Look, feminine, masculine, feminine, masculine. So something that was almost ridiculously not salvageable from what, I what you were thinking and feeling, you didn't think it was going to work. But spirit says, yeah, it's working because now you've moved on and you're moving with the same person, right? You have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you're moving on into a new location, a new home. You're exploring different ways of life. Instead of, woe is me, you're like, look at me. I love that. All right, Saggies. Beautiful. That is really awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's like, look at me. Love it. Okay. Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Capricorn, two came out, three came out, hello. So, what are we waiting for? Are you waiting for someone to touch your heart, but no one has yet? Why? Because you need to go within. You need to feel your own heart center, Capricorn. Look, no one externally, Capricorn, is going to make you feel your own heart. You have to do it on your own volition. And then you can move forward, right? For now, you must see the light of your own heart. Give yourself everything and don't look at the externals of what makes you happy because that's not making you happy and it's not giving you a new beginning. New beginning, new job, new life, it's all about your heart. And you aren't gonna find it on the outside. You're gonna find it on the inside. Capricorn, go within. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Aquarius, happy home, finally home, sisters, yeah, we're out, we're out, we're happy, we're starting a whole, look at this, we've actually started a brand new spanking life somewhere, you might be traveling to a warm climate, you're very happy, you're content, you're with family and friends. You're taking the mask off. Someone's taking the mask off to reveal a big heart. And I don't mean mask because they're bad or evil. 
I'm talking about you're becoming your authentic self, right? Kids, kids are making you happy. They're giving you a, a new zest for life, Aquarius. When we have family and we have here family, sister, brother, son, right? We find ourselves on a new happy path of realizing that what really matters Aquarius in life is to be happy in your own family unit. And that's where, that's when you see your true self. You see the truth of your own light through others in your family, Aquarius. Beautiful. And that's where we make ourselves happy. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. You could be dealing with something regarding justice about a home, a legal situation about home, uh, something selling, buying a home, love in the home. So fair fairness in your home life. What's fair? What's fair in, in love with your home life, with sisters, with so Pisces, you're dealing with something similar to Aquarius. So you could be a cusper or a Lib with a Libra. Something coming into the home. Family dynamic of being really happy, knowing how much you are loved with your family. And maybe at one time, this could be for Pisces moon. Maybe at one time you didn't think that, you know, you wanted a family. Now you're thinking you want a family. And I just see these two are not seeing, right? So what you don't see is truly how you feel. Does that make sense? And that's why we hesitated here because the hesitation isn't about needing to verbally get a, you know, when, okay, so this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to say. It's not about what I need to say. It's about how I feel about commitment, family, legalities, balancing out the yin and the yang in my family. It's not about talking about, it's, it's not Pisces about saying, oh, all is good, everything's good, all's good. It's about feeling it. Because when you feel it, Pisces, then you know you're in it. You must feel it. Let's get one more for Pisces. Look, it's all about what you're feeling, Pisces. You're going through an emotional situation. It's a little turbulent and it will calm down, but emotionally turbulent feelings of how you truly feel about your family. You're healing about family issues. Family issues are coming now into balance, right? Libra moon. Okay, so as I As I have to tell you, the message for today from Spirit is to solidify your worth. Who are you worthy of? What is worthy of you? I love you all and thank you so much for being 
so patient and understanding during my transitioning from the place that I've always called home, which is California, to my new home in Texas. And wherever that takes me is where I go, primarily because of my daughter too. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so much and thank you. Take care. God bless.